Alright lads, so today we are on the final episode for the most part of this series that we had started maybe like two months ago at this point or I think seven weeks ago exactly where we're beating every single guild quest with a 1 out of 5 special move level team and this is our final challenge the Squad Zero, Human, Quincy and Stern with the challenge which funny enough we've technically already showcased in the channel that you can easily beat with a 1 out of 5 team and this is the team that we are using today although we are going to be using two different teams but just bear with it this is going to be the first one more so just to quickly demonstrate if you have Geo, you're pretty much guaranteed to be it. Geo is pretty much like the cheat code for this particular week. But before we do that, let's really look at the team that we are using. So, in this particular guild quest, I'm going to go with Aizen. Now, Aizen is a character we have been using in quite a few different guild quests because, as you know, crowd control powers is really, really good. And he himself can also do a good amount of damage. And personally, I really like this character, so I'm just going to keep using him, right? Now, in this case, I'm using Aizen more specifically because, you know, you could go ahead and replace Aizen with someone like the most recent Lisa, for example. Example. And Lisa's gonna be a really good main character if you do have her, but the problem is this guild quest now has human enemies, and look at them. These lads are by far like the worst enemies to go against because they have like crazy hitbox range and stuff like that. They're by far the toughest enemies in the entire game, and that's kind of saying a lot. It's human enemies, Yakuza mobs, and they're somehow the strongest mobs in the entire game. I don't want my side lanes to die to these enemies, so I'm gonna make sure I have someone like Six Hundred Rush Eisen that does have really good crowd control. So look in our eyes. And again, Aizen's basically here not to really to do any damage, more so just here to be the crowd control character with that Vortex SA2. Looking at the build, we need to quickly change this. Let's just go with that build. And again, we are using, you know, free 14 recharge links for the most part. For his bonus abilities, again, he only has 500 XSP. Uh, for his bonus abilities, we have Star Barrier and also Weakened Defense. Now, Star Barrier is only here because I'm running out of pots. I used a lot of them on Masaki literally a couple days ago. So I don't have that many link slot potions to keep switching in and out just for the sake of this video. But of course, the most important one is to have Weakened Defense on your eyes. Because once you do use your Soul Bomb on the final boss, you will then start to do a lot of damage against the final boss so so if you can whatever main character you are running get them to t15 and give them weakened defense it makes it makes a complete difference when it comes to this particular guild quest our next character again the cheat code for this particular week we have geo now geo just does a lot of insane normal attack damage he's immune to poison the final boss is a speed character which i believe is human so yeah he's just going to be like the best character here i just want to bring him just for the sake of it he's a really good nav character and if you have him definitely use him because because he's going to be your cheat code for this particular guild quest. This is the build that we are using on him. And these are the links. For his bonus abilities, he has damage to drained enemies and also full stamps. Since we will be inflicting the enemies of drain since we are using Aizen. And then your next character is Tartsky. And I need to quickly change that golden chappy. So Tatsuki is a free-to-play character who you can get for free by completing the Iceberg of Training Tower. Very good character. Obviously, I did talk about it a lot leading up to the release of this particular guild quest. She's also a cheat code for this week. And she's free. That's the great part about it. You can easily get her max transcended. So if you can't beat it right now, eventually you will get a Tatsuki, you know, 5 out of 5. Because they, from the looks of it, doesn't appear to be like a new Senkama Tower to replace Tatsuki's one. Chad's Tower was supposed to do that. But that runs alongside the Tatsuki one. So you can get both a Tatsuki every month and I chat every two months in this case you're going to easily be able to get Tarski max transcended five out of five like I've done myself but of course because we're only supposed to use one out of five character we have removed our other transcendence so she basically only has 500 attack now the reason why she's great is because she again has a human killer and keep in mind as long as you have one of those four killers you get that five times damage against every affiliation so you don't need to technically have killer per se like you know my Tarski doesn't have killer against the stern Ritters or these Quincy enemies but she will be getting that five times damage output just because she does have a human killer which is currently boosted uh but her main usage here is to be the boost character as you can see here sa2 does provide the boost very important so the fact that you have access to a free character like tartsky a nad based character who you can easily max transcend and has a boost that is flurry based She's very, very good. And I really like that we have this character. And that's why when this guild course was first announced, I wasn't stressed about it. Because Tartsky is, again, really, really good. So this is the build that we are using her. Just increasing her attack as much as we can. And also increasing her normal attack as much as we can. Now, we have given her a Soifon link. Which is normal attack damage plus 20%. And also poison duration. Because her bonus ability does include full stamina and also poison resistance. This guild quest does feature poison pools. So we are now fully immune to poison. And she could potentially stay at full stamina as long as I can provide enough crowd control with my Aizen. So what I said, let's jump into the run showcasing that you can beat even this guild quest with a 1 out of 5 team. 
All right, so running into the quest then, I see how we do this. So again, we're going to use our SA2 to kind of keep the enemies in place. That's what we want to do with this particular character. As long as they focus on the main mobs, we're doing just fine. So we want to make sure they die as fast as possible. And our Vortex is also focused on the boss. Good spawns right there. I think everyone went down straight away. That's actually really good. Had a bit of lag there. No idea what happened. And yeah, we're doing a lot of damage here. So our boost is now gone. So we are doing a tad bit less damage, but that's fine. If we can have Tartsky die... That'll be really good. There goes Tartsky. She's then going to revive and use her boost straight away. We're going to sob on here. Weaken the defense. Use our SA1. Use our SA2. And now they're going to focus on Kugo. And they're going to do a lot of damage. Again, uh, you know, Geo is already a really good character in this particular quest. And slowly but surely, there we go. 13 seconds left. As always with our type of guild quest, one out of five teams. That's normally the time that is left to be cleared when it comes to this. But yeah, really easy team, assuming you have these particular characters. Again, Geo is the cheat code for this particular week. So if you don't have him, it's definitely going to be a tad bit of a struggle. But again, there are a lot of substitutes you can go with. And we've got some nice orbs there. So, for example, what we can do is switch Geo for someone like Arskin. Arskin's a pretty good character here. He also does have a debuff effect, so we can potentially try that. And we're basically, it's almost the exact same team. The play style is going to be the exact same. So, let's see if we can also clear with this particular team. Uh, Arskin is also 1-5 and has... He does have 25% force damage and damage to drained enemies as a bonus ability. So going into it then, let's see how this one actually going to roll out. We again want to kind of make sure we can kill all the mobs on the side so we can just focus on the main mobs or our, our you know, side characters. We can focus on that. And again, if we can get Tarski to die, that will be fun enough good here so she can use our boost instantly. But we'll see how it goes because the boost is now about to wear off. Uh, but we'll see if we can actually do damage to Bambi yet um, uh, because the boost will come back as we do go into the final boss, which we should have like... 25 seconds to spare for the most part. Come on, do it slowly, slowly. There we go. So we're going to use our boost here. Sorry, our soul bomb. We're going to weaken their defense. Arskin should eventually use his debuff effect. And also Tarki should use her boost sometime soon. And that will allow us to do a lot of damage against, obviously, this Kugo. And if we can keep all the enemies in place, that will allow us to do a lot of damage. So the boost goes off. So we have 20 seconds left to do damage here, which we should be good here. So still it goes. So it goes. It's going to be definitely last second. But we are going to clear with almost the same time left, funny enough, compared to Geo. And that's kind of funny because Geo is a character that's supposed to do a lot of normal attack damage. Especially when compared to Arskin, who doesn't really have the highest of Bruiser. But you can see that Arskin's deep of effect actually had usage here because he did use it against the final boss. That lowered his defense by 33% and that allowed us to do a tad bit more damage. So there's a lot of team composition you can go with here. Aizen and Tart is almost a mainstay for me when it comes to the human killer guild quest or this guild quest more specifically and it's it's an easy one honestly it's an easy one if you work on it i don't think two one out of five tartskis can beat it i think i might have showcased that on the channel before but i'm not entirely too sure if you don't have these characters again you can always just use them and quickly check any of these nad characters are going to be pretty good again geo is going to be really good here genjo makes for a decent lead if you can click quick enough of course you have access to the five tartskis too again easily max transcendable a lot of players that have been playing at least for a year should potentially have every tartski one out of five and maybe starting to get two out of five copies three out of five if you can get two tartskis with 500 additional attack and also 1000 additional focus so essentially special move level two that will also do a lot of damage especially if you can like work on the tech one specifically for this particular guild quest of course sukashima is going to be a really good booster here uh in terms of the main leads though as sp leads there isn't really that many great characters outside of the potentially movie release lisa but when it comes to nad characters you have a lot of decent options and again you have five great free to play options too with the tartski so if you can't beat it and you don't have any character but you have tartskis work on your tartskis they are are going to help you beat this particular guild quest but with that said lads that's just the video for today using a one out of five team and with that we have now officially beat every guild quest with a one out of five team so i think that's it for the series for the most part again i did mention that going into the next guild quest which is phase two which appears to be merely sorry bomb or rain sorry bomb I'm thinking about doing a one character guild quest challenge, which requires me to have like a max transcendent character. Can I use one character to beat an entire guild quest? We'll find out. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it for every single guild quest, but I might be able to do it for a few. And when I can, I'll definitely be uploading on the channel. So, if you lads did enjoy this series, hope you lads enjoyed this video. In the comments below, let me know what team you lads are using. And I'll see you lads next time. Peace.